All right, I'm going to tell you all there is to know about unit rates here. And first off, what is a unit rate? Let's talk about just a rate such as something like uh, uh, eight dollars. Uh, you're working for eight dollars you in, in um, two hours. So you get paid eight dollars in two hours. So the question is, what's the unit rate? That is a rate uh, because you have a fraction with labels. But what is the unit rate? So the unit rate, you would have to divide by. Now, really, the quick way is just 8 divided by 2. That is $4 per hour. That means it's $4 per one hour of work if you're getting paid $8 for two hours of work. Now, uh, I want to, in this easy example, I want to rewrite this and say that any time you want to get a unit rate, you would divide by the denominator. So the denominator in this case is 2, and we get 2 divided by 2 is 1, you see. And then 8 divided by 2 is 4, okay? And the unit rate always has a 1 for a denominator, okay? Now 4 divided by 1 is 4, obviously. But this brings us back to the unit rate. So the quick way to know is you just take the numerator divided by the denominator. Every time will give you the unit rate. And this is really just showing you why. Now, you might come across something like this. Write the unit rate for, let me bring this up a little bit. Write the unit rate for something like 2 thirds to 1 third. All right. So this is the same thing as 2 thirds divided by 1 third. Okay, it's the same thing. And this is called a complex fraction. And a complex fraction means just a fraction inside of a fraction. Now to get the unit rate for this, again, you just take the 2 thirds, 2 thirds, and divide it by 1 third. You know, just like I was doing up here. It's the same kind of thing. I took the numerator divided by the denominator, just like this was the numerator divided by the denominator. All right? It's just you have fractions now. But that shouldn't be a bit of a problem. So it's just 2 thirds divided by 1 third. That means the second fraction you have to flip. So you take 2 thirds, okay? And instead of division, it becomes multiplication. And when you turn into multiplication, you flip and multiply. So that's 3 over 1. Instead of, instead of 1 third, you flip the fraction over to 3 over 1. This is how we divide fractions. We invert and multiply. Then I could, uh, well, I could say this is, uh, I could cancel out the 3s. I really should. So 3 divided by 3 is 1, and 3 divided by 3 is 1. And then you multiply across. 2 times 1 is 2. 1 times 1 is 1. And 2 divided by 1 is 2. So what is the unit rate? Let's bring it back here. For this, you're asked, what is the unit rate of 2 thirds to, I'm sorry, oops. What is the unit rate for 2 thirds to 1 third? I did this, I did all my math, and I found that the answer is two. That is the unit rate. Okay, you might see something like this, where you're asked, find the unit rate of one-sixth of a book to uh, two-thirds of an hour. Well, that's just one-sixth divided by two-thirds. We have to invert and multiply. So the 1, 6 stays the same. We multiply and we invert the second fraction, which is 3 halves. I can cross cancel here. 3 will divide 3, and 3 also divides 6. So 3 divides 3 one time, and 3 divides 6 two times. Now I can multiply across. 1 times 1. So 1 times 1 is 1. And 2 times 2 is 4. And that is the unit rate. 
one fourth of a book per hour. And that probably what I should have done here, I should have, oh, I didn't say what that was at all for that. So I guess this technically is not a unit rate because I didn't have labels on that. Anyway, this one officially is. And I don't want you to think this is not one book for four hours. This is this this is the same as uh, one fourth of a book per hour. Okay, that's that's what that's saying. A quarter of a book done in one hour. Okay. Next, what you might see is something like this. Compare these unit rates. Uh, I'm going to do a different color here. Compare. Like which one's the cheapest? If you have three dollars sixty cents per six pounds, or if you have a uh, one quarter of a dollar per one half pound, or maybe you're paying for three dollars for four pounds or you have 49 cents per pound so which one's the cheapest which one's the best buy well you have to find the unit rate for each of these now what you would do for this it'd be 360 divided by 6 which means it's 6 into three dollars sixty cents that's zero, this is six, that's 36, and this is zero. This means it's 60 cents. 60 cents per pound, okay? So I'm gonna save that. I'll even put a box around it right there, okay? Next, I'll find the unit rate for this one. It'd be one four divided by one half, and that is, uh, Let's see, one four times two over one because you have to flip the second fraction. And I could divide both of these by two. That's one and that's two. And so I end up with one half dollars per pound. Okay. Oh, all right. So a half is the same thing as 50 cents. Hopefully we know that. So I should write 0 0.50. Okay, because now I can compare the 50 to the 60, and that's cheaper. All right. Now, uh, this one, $3 for four pounds. That would be 4 into 3.0. 4 doesn't go into 3, but it goes into 30 seven times, which is 28. And that is 2. Bring down another 0. 4 goes into 20, uh, what, five times? So that is 75 cents per pound okay and then this one's just done this is just 0 0.49 cents per pound okay so of these box numbers we have 60 cents 50 cents 75 cents and 49 cents which is the best buy well the cheapest one is this one's the best buy right there so I've given you a bunch of information about unit rates and how to compare them and such, different looks at them. I hope this has been helpful. Thanks for watching.